So let's get started. So you're going to be needing plastic wrap, plates, one plate, which we have. Then you're going to need some scissors, then some green paint, then some yarn. It's not yarn, I don't know what it is. Paint brush to paint the green paint. be needing this hole puncher or you could use those I don't know what I was about to say but whatever then gonna be needing some paper well I almost dropped the paint whatever so you're gonna be needing yellow so let's get started you're gonna want to Cut your plate like this. So let's do the same thing. So you're going to be needing plastic wrap just in case you paint on the table. Your mom doesn't want to get in my room. You're going to be covering, covering where, what you're painting on with plastic wrap. If you don't want this to slide, you can put it with tape. Now that you got your table covered with plastic wrap, now you want to paint, paint the plate that you just cut with green paint. you painted your little Christmas tree now you're gonna make the ornaments while we're making the ornaments we're gonna let it dry so I'm gonna be using these colors but you, we can't use yellow at all because it's gonna be for the start on the tree these colors I'm gonna be using are gonna be for the ornaments so let's cut them in circles or any shape you want your ornaments to be for it to be easier you're gonna be using this so you can make circles to be easier So I cut out my ornaments. They kind of look a little plain, so I drew some awesome characters, and this is what they are. So we have Stitch, Ruby Lilo, sorry, <laughs> have Stitch, which I said earlier, but forget that. Then we have SpongeBob. Then we have his little little. Snail friend, little pet, cute little pet. 
Then we have true. Then we have Nemo's. Ten of Mickey Mouse. Bartleby, it's Chew's pet. It's Chew's pet, Bartleby. He's a little kitty cat. So now, now that you have all your ornaments done, you're gonna punch punch a hole in inside of the paper. See, see the put string and make it a little ornament. You could use any hole puncher, but we're just using this one. So when you punch the hole in your little things, now you're going to get yarn or anything you have at home. Then you're going to want it to look like this. So do that to all of them. Now that you got all the strings on your ornaments, now you're going to want to push holes inside of your tree where you want your ornaments. So let's do it. Now that you put that on your tree, you're gonna want to put a knot at the top. Now, now that you put that on, you, you can put your ornaments wherever you want. Now that you have all your ornaments on, you're gonna you're gonna want to punch a hole at the top to use for for a handle. Now that you got your handle on, on you're going to want to cut out a star to put on the top. So this is how mine turned out. My sister made one too. So let's see how hers turned out. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.